What if you see everyone around you is just vomiting, vomiting, and going to toilet for feces, going to toilet for feces? So hello, 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 guys. I hope you are doing well enough in your life. So let's understand now the cholera disease, how it happens, and why cholera disease is a deadliest. disease in the world so let's go with mashan parivartan but don't forget it we also give you the picture with the content so you will never forget such type of our valuable content from your mind so let's go first of all let's understand what is cholera okay cholera is a sickness bimari hai that happens when you get infected with a tiny living things called bacteria definitely so these bacteria called a called a vibrio cholera okay vibrio cholera which is live in a contaminated food or water so when a person drinks or eats something with these bacteria they can get sick definitely and they can be a very deadliest for you to be dead in the future so the bacteria make a poison okay that affects the intestine it really affects your first of all intestine let's find out how cholera is spread so that we can stop it okay so let's go first of all cholera bacteria thrive in water contaminated with human feces feces ka matlab hota latrine tatti okay okay rivers lakes wells wells ka matlab kua and the other water sources can become contaminated with vibrio cholera especially in the area with poor sanitation facilities okay the other one is consuming food that has been prepared with contaminated water or washed in such a water can introduce a cholera bacteria into the digestive system so seafood raw fruits and vegetables irrigated or washed with contaminated water are common source you can get the cholera in your life and here in areas lacking proper sanitation facilities human waste can contaminated the environment as well as so this contamination can occur through inadequate sewage disposal open defection okay defection or the use of contaminated water for cleaning the bathing uh, i mean to say cleaning and bathing not cleaning the bathing cleaning and bathing okay cholera can spread directly from person to person in crowded bheed mein ya phir unsanitary conditions mein this is more likely to occur in areas with poor hygiene practice okay where an infected person's feces feces ka matlab hota hai tatti latrine abhi jo ki maine bataya tha can contaminate the immediate environment and infect the other as well as to agar aap tatti karte hain khule mein so you will get and you will definitely affect the other as well as so avoid it the other one is cholera can be transported to a new areas okay through travel and trade oh my goodness infected individuals or contaminated water or food can introduce the bacteria to regions where cholera is not epidemic so this was the information that i gave you now we go forward and discuss the symptoms so that you will identify yourself and the other one who is suffering from cholera so now in this slide you would understand that how to identify yourself and the other one that he she is suffering from cholera or not so i'm going to give you the information with 
विद द हेल्प ऑफ पिक्चर्स ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉमिटिंग डिहाइड्रेशन थर्स्ट एंड ड्राई माउथ मसल क्रैम्स लो ब्लड प्रेशर रेपिड हार्ट बीट एक्सट्रीम टायर्डनेस एंड वीकनेस वॉटरी डायरिया एज वेल एज ओके इन द नेक्स्ट लाइट डोंट वरी अबाउट इट वी हैव द सोल्यूशन टू गेट रेड ऑफ दिस शुटी पिटी डिजीज ओके सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड Cholera is a potentially life-threatening illness, as I told you, the deadliest disease. Okay, but it can be effectively treated with prompt and appropriate medical care. So, please consult with your doctor first. Okay, don't try to search any medical help on Google, YouTube. Just you need the information. Okay, after that. the doctor will recommend you the appropriate medical treatment but here are sums sums i mean to say some advices okay first of all rehydration therapy ab ye kya hota hai iska matlab ye hota hai isme doctor kya karega aapko ors ya fir iv fluid jo hai chadhayega taki aapko jo hai hydration zyada se zyada ho jaye dehydrate na ho aapki body antibiotic treatment chalayega doctor और अगर आपके क्षेत्र में मौजूद होगी आपकी कंट्री में मौजूद होगी क्या वैक्सीनेशन डेफिनेटली तो वो आपको प्रोवाइड करा देगा अब मुझे ये नहीं पता कि आपके क्षेत्र में वैक्सीनेशन फ्री है या फिर उसकी जा रहे हैं पैसे ठीक है तो वो आप अपने मालूम करना दादर वाने जिंक सप्लीमेंट्स जो आते हैं वो भी मेडिकल पे मौजूद होते हैं लेकिन वो डॉक्टर ही रिकमेंड करेगा आपको मैं भी रिकमेंड नहीं करने वाला और प्लीज किसी यूट्यूबर की भी बात मत सुनना डॉक्टर से कंसल्ट करो बिकॉज डॉक्टर नोज वेरी वेल देन अस ओके तो आइसोलेशन और रेस्ट देखो इफ यू आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम कोलेर डेफिनेटली यू नीड टू आइसोलेट योर सेल्फ आइसोलेट योर एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम एवरी वन एंड रेस्ट ओके रेस्ट के दौरान आप अपनी वैक्सीनेशन तो लोगे सप्लीमेंट्स भी लो अपने आप को हाइड्रेट रखो पानी पीते रहो फ्लूट्स लो ठीक है ओ आर एस पीते रहो और साथ ही साथ गुड हाइजीन प्रैक्टिस रखो और गुड हाइजीन प्रैक्टिस जब मत रखो जब आपको कोलेरा हो जाए उससे पहले भी आपको गुड हाइजीन प्रैक्टिस ही रखनी है ताकि आपको हो ना मतलब क्या नहीं हो कोलेरा ना हो मतलब कोलेरा ही क्या और बहुत सारे डिजीजेस भी हैं वो भी प्रिवेंट करी जा सकती हैं ठीक है रोकी जा सकती है गुड हाइजीन प्रैक्टिस के द्वारा सो दिस वॉज द इंफॉर्मेशन गिविन बाय द मिशन परिवर्तन सो इफ यू लाइक द वे आई टॉक इन वीडियोज You can subscribe and like the video. So thank you very much for watching our video.